Same thing, but just keep that gorgeous smile. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hi, my name is Lamar Moore, executive chef restaurateur from Chicago, Illinois. And I'm very well known in Chicago for making some of the best beef in town. We're here at Beef It's West Virginia Culinary Center, where we make everything better using beef as a substitute. And today, we're gonna make a classical dish called calamari, turn it into calamari from Chef Lamari. Calamari, it is squid cut into uh, rings, deep fried till nice and crispy. Traditional calamari is not for everyone, but we're gonna do something different. We're gonna beef it up for you with that same classical recipe. What we're gonna make is one of my favorite recipes and what I'm known for is a classic pimento cheese, which is gonna go well with our beef substitute for our calamari. We're gonna take cream cheese. We have cheese base. Next, I'm gonna take green onions. When you're uh, eating onions, you don't want a heavy chew or a heavy bite of onion, especially if you're gonna kiss somebody the next day. So pimentos, color, flavor. We got some smoked jalapenos, raw jalapeno, pickle jalapenos, I mean, who doesn't like pickles? A Little bit of mayo, a little bit of uh, cheddar, making it rain. <laughs> and that, my friends, is Chef Lamari's classic pimento cheese. I have a nice strip steak. Strip steak has a lot of marbling, and what that does gives nice flavor, and it's a great application for what we're gonna use for a calamari. You can choose filet, which has less marbling in there if you like, just depend on what you wanna use. But first, we're gonna cut these into nice strips, so about a fourth of an inch, and then we're gonna cut strips out of the strip. So I'm gonna cut that in half lengthwise. You could take these and pretty much lock them together. The problem is with that ring, it's perfect, but when you get ready to fry it up, it's just gonna come apart. So we're gonna take the two picks. We're taking these two picks and cut them in half. So I got two pick going one way, I have a two pick going the other way. Kind of reminds me of growing up with my grandmother knitting. So I'm knitting the beef. And there's our calamari ring. Just remember, when you get ready to fry these off, as we'll do later, these two picks need to come out because it's not edible. Our next step in our calamari process is our dredge. Flour, thyme, pepper, dark powder, Spanish paprika, not smoked, cayenne, and also kosher salt. Once this is well incorporated, we're gonna make our egg wash. And by the magic of TV, I was able to not have to stand here and do 30 pieces of calamari. I have the uh, cast iron pot. I'm a southern boy at heart, so I love using cast iron pots. So I have a temperature gauge in here. It's up to 375 degrees. So we're going to start breading. So I keep one hand wet, one hand dry. And in between each one, I'm slightly dusting on the top and then squeezing just a touch. When you drop in the fryer, you always go away from you. The reason why is you don't want the oil to splash. And I'm also looking for nice large bubbles, which is what I have here. I have a sheet tray here with a paper towel lined on the bottom. What that's going to do is catch all the oil from the bottom. We want them nice and crispy, or GBD, golden brown and delicious. We don't want them uh, to carry all the oil in there. Those have been cooking for about oh, three and a half, four minutes. And that, my friends, is calamari. We're done frying our calamari. Now it's time for the taste test. All our toothpicks are out. Dip a little bit in our pimento cheese. Mmm. Nice and crispy on the outside. It's not chewy, great texture from the beef, good flavor from the beef. And because of the type of breading that I use, I'm not losing all the flavor from the beef as well. It's nicely deep fried. And again, if you want, try to mind a little squeeze of lime or lemon juice on there. And somebody got a bigger bite. It's a winner. I would put this in my restaurant right now. Calamari. Watch us beef up more classic dishes like this at beefitswhatsfordinner.com. <laughs> Just wait, no nut. <laughs> Calamari. <laughs> Every day, uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> Calamari from Calamari from Chef Lamari. Get it? Hashtag Lamari, no. <laughs>